man. This is like a... Thank you. <laughs> I swear, this is like the first date back at school, a school that you like. This is... This is so nice, Joe Murray. I've been missing you saying hey, family, all summer long. I know. Yeah. And Sherry, if you notice, we spruced the place up a little bit. We What's did. going on with your chair there? We did. We I got a new chair, y'all. I'm a... I got a new chair, and like this is pink is just one of my favorite colors because it gives me joy. Mm -hmm. And so we decided, you know, I do, like I don't think you could ever have enough joy in your life. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> so I said, well, let's do this chair in a hot pink. Everybody was a little scared when I was like hot pink, but I actually like it. It feels a little rich. I like the hot pink <laughs> of it all. You're in your black Barbie era. I'm in my black Barbie era. I yeah. like that. Yeah, my little, yeah, I'm a little ratchet. <laughs> my little ratchet Barbie era. I like it. <laughs> it, it really feels, yeah, and we added more greenery and we just added, we just wanted to spruce up the place, give it a little, you know, spring, fall cleaning. But I gotta tell y'all, it's, I just, when I tell you it is so good to be back, I am telling you, it is. The summer was long. I miss being away from the show, but I got—I don't know what y'all did for the summer. I ate my way through the summer, boy. <laughs> I ate my way through this summer, girl. When I tell you, Willie Sinclair III from the Milwaukee Sinclairs. <laughs> We haven't seen each other all summer. I walked in uh, a few days ago to do my fitting. Willie Sinclair darn near had a heart attack. <laughs> Cause he had to reorder all of the clothes to fit my size now. And see, I know y'all looking going, we can't do Now I have on three corsets <laughs> underneath this thing. And I know it was, I know I, I have eaten my way through because when Willie, he puts the uh, corset on and he had to put it, that, but that third one, he was sweating, he was grunting. <laughs> Willie clutched his heart. I said, I think he's about to pass out. <laughs> so it's holding all of my summertime eating, but I'm not feeling guilty. I'm like, look, I did it, it's done, and I feel good. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> now, if I start doing something, y'all, I get that glaze in my eye. Somebody run up and help me, because I'm about to pass out. <laughs> from all these little corsets and girdles and waist trainers I got on, but, but it's good. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. <laughs> they said I look good, but y'all, I got, it's been so much that has happened over the summer and I'll let you know um, everything that has happened. I had some really good things, but something that is pretty big happened to me over the summer. And it was announced that me, Sherry Shepard, I'm getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of So these are all stars that have come out. And I have to tell you, I'm so overwhelmed with joy and incredible thankfulness um, that I'm receiving. It's such a prestigious honor. Um, and you know, and I wanna, before I even go on, I just wanna thank, I have a publicist who I've, we've been together for about 12 or 13 years. I'm a very loyal person. Was well, it took so long for me to get a divorce. I'm such a loyal, <laughs> um, sometimes I stay in stuff too long, but. My publicist, Simone, Simone, I almost called her Simone Biles, Simone Smalls, um, is the most wonderful publicist because I told her what my dream was. It was always to uh, get a star, and she never stopped campaigning for me. And uh, Simone, thank you so much. You are one of the best publicists a girl could ever have. And um, so the best part about this whole thing was my best friend, Niecy Nash Betts, made the announcement. And I was watching because Niecy was gonna make the uh, announcements. And I was just watching her to support because everything that she does, she's like, are you gonna watch me? So I, <laughs> I was watching Niecy and I, and then she said my name, y'all take a look. Listen, my best friend who I love and love to see with Sherry Shepard! <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise for my friend. Oh, my God. oh, Sherry, I love you.
love you. Oh my God, Sherry Shepard, your name is right here, friend. I'm so happy for my friend. Oh my God! <laughs> I love you, Sherry. I'm getting a star. Oh my God! Oh my gosh, I was just looking at it to make fun of Nisi. for this and that the fact that my best friend had said it too and I'm in such good company because some of the other people that are getting stars along with me are Jane Fonda, Fantasia, <laughs> Colin Farrell, um, Courtney B. Vance is getting one. Jessica Chastain, the Isley Brothers, Buster Rhymes, and Prince. Prince is getting a star. You know how I feel about Prince. Like, that Prince is getting a star. I'm in that same category. And I want, I told the Academy, the Star Academy, I want my star right next to Prince's. <laughs> like, I don't care if my star could touch Prince's, that would be great. And it's, it, you know, it's, this is a big honor because I've been in the business for so long and to be rewarded for um, hard work and dedication, it's been a dream of mine. And I think back to the days when I was taking the bus and I was, you know, trying to figure out where I was gonna sleep, which friend's couch I was gonna sleep on. The thing that made me, you know, feel better, they didn't evicted me from my apartment, and my car was repossessed. I would walk up and down Hollywood B Boulevard and I would look at all of the stars on the Walk of Fame, and I would dream that one day I could have my own star. And so, to the fact, I mean, but the biggest thing that I'm happy about, y'all, is now I'm gonna have a star on Hollywood. You know how many men gonna be sleeping on top of me? Girl! And y'all look. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your mama. There we go. <laughs> but the thing about getting a star is like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's by invite only. So everybody and their mama is, you know, in, you only have so many people that can speak at your ceremony. So everybody wants to speak and do a tribute. Do you know how many speakers you can have speak at your ceremony? I think they allot you two, but knowing you, you're gonna be pushing for three or four. Uh, well, because you know, you want like a big name, somebody who knows yeah. you well to speak for you. But I immediately thought of a list of names that I wanted to speak, like these big names. But then Nisi called me and she said, I'm gonna speak, all right? Um, <laughs> Because my friend Bossy, she, you got them Bossy friends, and my friend Bossy, and I, and I got to tell you something, I was a little upset because I am Nisi Nash Betts' best friend, and when she got her star, she didn't even ask me to speak. <laughs> mm -mm, she didn't ask me to speak. She had Ryan Murphy, who she's the star of Grotesquerie coming out, uh, Ryan Murphy uh, and Cedric the Entertainer. They spoke at her ceremony. Now, I didn't know Nisi longer than Cedric and Ryan. <laughs> And I, if I would have been up there with her, that picture would have looked a lot different. I'm gonna tell you something right now. That it would have been right. <laughs> it's like it's like when somebody has a wedding and they got all the bridesmaids, and you know that girl. You know you're supposed to be matron of the honor, and she didn't even she you, she didn't even ask you to be part of the wedding. And you sitting there, you know that feeling? It's like, you know, all, and so I was sitting there at Nisi's ceremony, and, and this is what made it so bad. I was there to support my friend, but everybody kept going, how come you not up there, Sherry? <laughs> you and Nisi been friends for 30 years, how come you not up there speaking? And I said, because she didn't ask me, but it's okay. You know how you try to play them? You go, it's okay, it's okay. And I sat there very demure and very mindful. I did, <laughs> I sat there and I smile. And uh, now that Nisi has demanded to speak, here comes my other bestie, Kim Whitley. She called and she said, uh, if Nisi's speaking, I'm speaking too. <laughs> so those are, but I said, it, look, it, I wasn't gonna ask neither one of y'all bitches to speak for me. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Two slots. I was going, you know, I was thinking to somebody, John, like Angela Bassett, because oh, Angela's wow. like, she's Yale educated and she's good at making dramatic speeches. I mean, like Angela Bassett, look how she emotes with her hands, just woo, you know, and she, uh, uh, you know, that's what I need. Uh. <laughs> that's what I wanted at my ceremony, but you know, it's, it, I'm gonna take Nisi and Kim, but also. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna settle for your two best friends. I'm gonna settle for my two best friends. <laughs> like, I was like, we could've gone to the club. I'll treat y'all to dinner, y'all can celebrate me. But I'm, I got it. But then also with the star, you know, you, I don't know how many tickets they're gonna give me to give out for people who sit there. And people don't ask you if they can come. They say, you know, this is what they say to you. They go, what is the date? I'm gonna come on through. <laughs> so everybody from my elementary school, ex-boyfriends are calling me, and they're not saying, you know, can I? It's just like, tell me what the date is and what time, and I'll be there. I got 10 chairs, I think, to give out tickets, and 59 people want to come. <laughs> so maybe I'll rent a church and have, like, an overflow room <laughs> and get, like, a big old monitor. But, I, but all in all, I just have to say thank you to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce for this incredible honor. <laughs> I do. I'm so excited. And I also want to say to Nisi and Kim, I couldn't think of two better women to give me my speech at the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I love both of you. Oh, my gosh! I gotta tell you, it was so many times during the summer that I have wanted to, like, it was so much stuff happening in the news, and I said, oh, my gosh, if I could come back and just talk about these hot topics, I wanted to, I wanted to but was not able to because we weren't here. But I do want to give a shout-out to Team America, who won 126 <laughs> medals, 40 gold medals. Oh, my gosh, so much stuff that happened. Simone Biles, girl, you did your thing. Simone Biles, that is the GOAT. <laughs> Took a mental health break, came back stronger than ever. Simone Biles won three gold medals and one silver. I don't know how she did all those flips. The girl did so many, the young, she did so many twists and turns. I got dizzy and I fell down just watching. <laughs> Simone, so I want, sis, I want to congratulate you for taking care of yourself and coming back so strong. And Jordan Childs got to send some love to gymnast Jordan Childs. Now, Jordan Childs, she was... She was stripped of her first individual medal after the uh, Romanian team challenged her final score. It's always them daggone Romanians. They always be challenging. But she's still fighting. We support you 100%, Jordan. Uh, but guess who came to her rescue? Flavor Flay! <laughs> I love Flav because he gave her one of his clocks. And I mean, the Olympics may have denied you, but Flavor Flav knows what time it is. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> and then one of my special faves, I gotta give a shout out to Paralympics athlete Hunter Woodall and his wife, Tara David Woodall. These two just captured my heart. They've been married for two years, and I love their love. Tara won a gold medal for this summer's women's long jump, and then Hunter won a gold medal in the Paralympics a few weeks later. And... John, when he was competing four years ago, right before he was supposed to run, his um, leg broke, mm. and they couldn't repair it, and he had to drop out, and Tara came and just hugged him through it. So for him to have won a gold medal and his wife to win a gold medal, that's a good thing, because I don't know what their marriage would have been like if one of, only one of them came home with the medal. <laughs> so congratulations to both of y'all. Uh, so... I just needed to give them a shout out. It's so much stuff I want to talk about. I'm gonna have to do like a, a 30 second recap of all the old stuff that happened. Yeah, and then and the rest of the week we're gonna. You've done so much this summer. We so many things like with the. Uh, Biden and Harris, and we'll tell people about that all week long. Okay, we'll tell them all yeah. week long, but I gotta tell y'all something. We're doing something so exciting to kick off season three. For the next 10 weeks, we are giving away amazing trips to some of the world's most beautiful destinations oh. during... Oh. Yes. I'm so excited. We're giving them away during our real good time getaway sweepstakes. Now, I'm talking trips to Jamaica. <laughs> I'm talking trips to Hawaii. And we are even gonna send someone to Japan. Now, this is how easy it is to enter to win. It's so easy. All you have to do is watch our show every day for the word of the day. 
And once you see it, go to SherryShowTV.com to enter the mystery word. Now, you can enter this word once a day. So if you watch our show every day, there's five chances to win every week. Now, you got to pay attention, though, because the word of the day can pop up at any time during the show. So starting today, we're going to be giving away a different trip every week, and we're going to let you know which trip you are playing for every Monday. So this week's trip is to the fabulous Fairmont Mayacoba in Mexico. <laughs> yes, y'all take a look. Get ready to soak up the sun in beautiful Riviera Maya, Mexico. We'll fly you and a guest to this tropical paradise for a five-night, all-inclusive stay at the prestigious AAA Five Diamond Fairmont Mayacoba. Experience the perfect blend of luxury and adventure with breathtaking beach and lagoon casitas, thrilling water sports, soothing spa treatments, and an incredible jungle meat sea golf course. This getaway is sure to be a real good time, and it's valued at over $8,000. I feel like I want another getaway in the pina colada. Can I win that trip? Can I go against it? You already Ooh. know it violates all the rules. I know. Oh, man. Well, you know what? Since it's my uh, premiere show, I'm going to give you today's word. So today's word of the day is Sherry. <laughs> OK. So family, go to SherryShowTV.com to enter for your chance to win this real good time getaway and watch our show all week long for new words and new chances to win every day. I wish you all of the luck. And yes, all of the luck. I want you to win. And by the way, one lucky person in today's studio audience is going to win this trip to Mexico later in the show. So keep watching. And I even want my earrings to celebrate our next guest because it is the legendary Mary J. Fly. Right here. <laughs> Jerry will be right back. Continuing to kick off season three in a huge way. And it does not get any bigger than my first guest. She's a Grammy winning singer, an Emmy winning performer, and she's an Oscar nominated actress <laughs> who always has me showing real love. Please welcome my idol, the queen of hip hop soul. First of all, I just have to say, can we have just like a toast, a little champagne toast? Of course. I want to just because <laughs> I'm glad I ate breakfast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, girl. I just because you are being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Oh my God! Congratulations. Thank you, Sherry. Can I tell you? Okay, I, I, I know how I'm feeling. I've talked about it. I'm, I'm not because you just ate, so I don't know if I want to make you mix. Well, we did this. We got the this the yeah, cheap well, champagne. We have to have a sip. Okay, all right. Because but... we toast and we didn't drink. Okay, so here we there go. you go. That's it for that. That's it. No more. <laughs> how are you feeling about this? Um, I feel amazing. I feel really good. I feel like I've done my job. I've done what I was supposed to do. Yeah. And, and you know, in this music business, in this industry, and um, people are. Um, recognizing me, you know, recognize my work, my peers. Mm -hmm. So I, I just feel good that on this level, you know, where I'm supposed to be, I'm being yes, recognized. You are. So, yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. You know, Mary, it's just like your music is a soundtrack to my life. And not only that, I love how you are just so into female empowerment all the time. Yeah. And 
I know your relationship with your girlfriends are so important to you. You got Taraji, Pete Henson, you got Angie Martinez, you got Tasha, that crazy <laughs> Tasha Smith around. So, like, did the group chat explode when they heard about your induction? I mean, everybody's so happy. Yeah. Uh, that's what I love about my group, my group of friends. They, they really support me, and they all want to come, but <laughs> I don't know if everybody can come, you know? I mean, you can come if you can get there, but, yeah. you know, um... <laughs> But um, you know they they you know Tasha and um, Taraji, Angie, Simone, every yeah. you know they all they, they, um, Nikki, yes, Lorena, they all you know they they really happy for me. Yeah. So I would like to know this because when I get together with my friends, when I get together with Nisi and Kim and and, and Garcelle, like I'm always I, you know I like to we get together with food, you know we just sit yeah. around the table, we just be gossiping. Like what's a good girls uh, time to you? The same thing. Um, Dinner, yeah. Drinks, uh -huh. laughter, shopping. Oh yeah. Shopping is always fun, or talking about clothes, or you know, just yeah. We have a good time, just mostly over dinner and, over and, dinner. and music. Like we're not going to clubs, you know, <laughs> as much as we used to when we were younger. <laughs> we go to clubs yeah. when we have work. When we ha when you got to work. Yeah, but it's it's dinner and you know wine and yeah. you know whatever we do. <laughs> I like to take my clothes off and walk around everybody's house naked. <laughs> I don't know if you do that. Like, everybody's house I go over to, I have, I have, I just like, I go, everybody take your clothes off. Let's just, <laughs> you like taking your clothes off too with your girl? Absolutely not. Okay, well, <laughs> all right, well, maybe that's just me. Nobody, okay, all right, yes. <laughs> you know, Mary, you know, it's so, I, I just remember your first, your first album and your music, it stirs up so many emotions. And I think that's why we relate to you so much. Like, real love, I remember where I was at. Real love, what I was going through. Thank when you sang, I'm going down, I cried. I couldn't <laughs> stop crying. I'd be without you. And then when you said, when you sang just fine, I said, everything gonna be all right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I feel like, it's peeking into your diary when you when you were singing. Is that the way you always wanted it to be? It's it's not the way I wanted it to be. I just didn't have a choice, and okay. music was my therapy. It was how I healed and how I got through my own stuff. You know, I'm, I think I'm here to this day because of you know me expressing myself through music because I was going through so much, you know, hell that I had to put it somewhere. Yeah. You know, and then when my good time showed up, I had to express that as well. So, you know, it, it was just a way of healing and a way of you know. Yeah, just a way, way of healing. So it wasn't like, oh, I'm a plan to put, you know, I didn't plan to, I didn't plan this. It just, I didn't have a choice. I didn't yeah. know where else to put it. Well, I have to say, I remember the, your first album, it was My Life. Y'all remember My Life? Yeah. My Life. Congratulations, Thank because you. you're celebrating the 30th anniversary of yeah. My Life. You know, does, when you listen to this album, My Life, because it was so much stuff you were going through at the time, and I think a lot of us were as well, yeah. do you see how far you've grown? Can you see that growth? Absolutely. My life was the hardest, darkest part of my life. Yeah. And now it's like, wow, like, it's one of my favorite albums because of how I recovered and, and, and how I'm able... It, it doesn't trigger me anymore in a negative way. It triggers me in a way where... I can heal from it, you know, yeah. like what well, I can well, have grown from it, you know. So it's not like I'm crying because the album is so sad. I'm crying because I recover. I'm, you know, it's happy tears. Yes, you know? yes, yeah. It's so your music is so is so iconic and is so now. You can listen to my life right now and still it means something to this day. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, when I perform those songs, I'm no longer performing them from a place of hurt. I'm performing of a place where I get to go back and help somebody else now, yeah. you know, recover. Although, you know, the pain is real when you go back, you know, you still feel it. But it's not going to take me down or keep me down. It's going to reach out to somebody else and they're going to be able to relate to where yeah. I came from and help somebody else now. That's Absolutely, it's Mary. It's... <laughs> You had, and I think we, we love you so much because you go through what we go through. So it's been ups and downs and triumphs. And yeah, that's what life. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, the, it's the ebb and flow of life. And you've been open about your divorce. I've been divorced. And yeah. um, I know that going through two very painful, very public divorces, I've had to learn to forgive. Yeah. Like, is that something that you had to go through as well? Yeah, well, forgiveness, what I learned is that forgiveness <clears throat> was for me. Yeah. So excuse me when I say this, the hell with them. <laughs> I 
I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that ugly, bitter, you know, you know that bitter feeling. That's because yeah. it's not mine. That that belongs to you. You did what you did, but I have to move on. Yeah. And in order for me to feel good and you know manifest all the good things in my life, I have to let you go. For me, not for you. This is not for you. Trust me, this is not for you. This yeah. is for me. It's for you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So we can move on and walk in that joy. And walk, yeah, walk in the joy, the new, the newness. Okay. Well, I got it, and I just got to get up in your business, Mary. So is there anybody special that you like uh, walking in joy with? Mmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know already, Sherry. Everybody knows. Yes. Well, yeah, you said yes. All right, yeah. all right. So are you... <laughs> I just wanted to ask. So it's it's going well. You feel in joy. Well, it's going well because it's, I'm I'm doing well for myself. You know, yes. um, I feel good about me. Like I look good to me. I feel good to me. I, you know, and so <laughs> I'm embracing me. So when you embrace you, everything is embracing you. That's right. When you want you, everything you know, everything yes. good. You know what I mean? So yes. so it's going well because I'm not holding anybody accountable for making me feel good about me. You know. Absolutely. Now, I love it because you are so on the glow up. You are just really, really on the glow up. And I don't know, it, it, you in this happy phase, you're not thinking about retirement or anything, are you, Mary? Well, I mean, I was. I was getting tired. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was. I mean, you know, when, you know, some days, you have days where you're just exhausted and you're like, oh, yeah. I don't know, I don't think I'm, I'm just tired. But, you know, when I said it, my fans was like, wait, no, what are you no, doing? Don't do it to us. <laughs> so, I mean... Probably not yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mary. Not yet. <laughs> That's what I'm like. You can't. I know. I know you have to live your life, and your life is yours. But it's like we, I, the thought of not having you to sing about everything is what I'm going through. I don't know if I can make it. Well, 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 well. We have a new song to sing. The new song is "Good Morning Gorgeous." I feel good about myself. Life is life is life. Yes. You're gonna have. We're gonna, we're gonna have trials and tribulations, but how do we get through? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know? But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Fabulous. Breathing. Breathe. And that's what, like you said, how do we get through? That's why we need you around to tell us. Take and a deep breath. <laughs> Y'all, Mary is sticking around. And up next, we're going to chat about Power Book 2 Ghost Plus. <laughs> Plus, Mary is in her glow up. She's got a huge announcement to make. Don't miss it. <laughs> We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. This is one of my favorite shows, Ghosts. That was a clip of Mary from the final season of Power Book 2 Ghosts. And the series finale is next week. Um, before I ask, first of all, it, w can you tell us anything about the series finale? You can't say nothing? Okay. All right, because I just got to tell... What? <laughs> um... They're gonna miss the Tejadas, that's all I gotta say. You're gonna miss the Tejadas? <laughs> People are gonna miss the Tejadas. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I can't give up any more than, than but that. But Monet, say it ain't so. <laughs> <laughs> Le Le literally, <laughs> Monet, when I tell you, this is my show, Monet, you, Monet, you, and I, like, your name is Mary, but I'm calling you Monet. Please, Mo you, Mary, please. <laughs> <laughs> you, Mary, really, playing the character of Monet, and you have been scaring me since, I don't, you, look, when I tell you, Monet hung a woman from the ceiling. <laughs> Monet, you will and you be fly. You will step in front of a car with Fendi and Gucci and fire away at a, at a moving car. You done been through so much. The kids was trying to kill you and then you got to kill the kids and then you was in the coma. <laughs> then you, your two ex-husbands came back. You, you killed them again. And then you... <laughs> you came out the coma. You, like, did, your sister come and try to help you. She's trying to say a prayer. You getting on her. What, what is going on? Does the story end Monet coming back, right? <laughs> right? I, I can't say anything. Oh, <laughs> I can't. Mary. I can't. You have to watch. Everybody has to watch it. Okay, well, we're going to watch it. I'm just out of breath. <laughs> just all of the... 
Tariq getting on your nerves and Diana, you <laughs> Diana about to have a baby and Drew, everybody, you going Kane, you it's oh a, my it's goodness. a mess. <laughs> it's a whole mess with the Tejadas. Yeah. So now that power is ending, okay, because it's the season finale, you do you have a you have a big announcement for us? Well, okay. let me let me just say this. I'm I'm absolutely I, I had a great time working with, you know, my my family on okay. on, on, on the show. And um, Michael Rainey is a f amazing person. And, yes. you know, I'm, I'm just grateful that he survived, Tariq survived, so that <laughs> the Tejadas can live. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, so, my announcement, <gasps> right? All right, okay. What is my announcement? Wh which one? Wh which one? Yeah, I'll <laughs> any announcement you give me, I'm taking. <laughs> is, is this the big, big one? Is this the big, big one? Okay. The big, big one. All right, so, um, I'm... I'm, oh, I'm <laughs> getting... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's happening? Um, I'm going on tour in January. <laughs> the, and the name of the tour. <laughs> the name of the tour. The name of the, the name of the tour is called the For My Fans Tour. So if you are a Mary J. Blige fan, <laughs> this is for you. Thank you. <laughs> we getting tickets. Okay, so you're going on tour, and the one thing that we know with Mary when she's on that stage, you're gonna be rocking your Giuseppe boots. Yeah. Them Giuseppe boots. Yes. It, uh -huh. Yes. Those <laughs> boots look so good on you, Mary. And Thank you. When you, anybody who tried to find them, they were sold out immediately when you tried to get them. Yes. So when you, I'm coming to that concert because I'm gonna get backstage and steal the boots. <laughs> but, but before we get to the boots, can I say something? Yeah. I have a new album coming. <gasps> In, in November, hey, November 15th, it's called Gratitude. It's called Gratitude? Yes, because that's where I am. And I just want everybody to know that. Gratitude, what's gratitude mean to you, Mary? I mean, look at my life right now. I mean, yeah. I'm in a constant state of gratitude. I feel good. I have jobs and opportunities. I'm healthy. My yeah. family's healthy. I have, you know, people around that care for me and love me. And I have amazing fans. So I'm so grateful to my fans for all the years of love that they've given me and support. And we do love you. That that will never go away, no matter what you are singing about. We going through it with you. Because you just like the round the way girl that we just relate to. And there's nothing you could ever do. That... We just love you. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah. Now, 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 now. <laughs> Now, let's get back. Now, you were saying, you were saying. Yeah, I was saying I was going to get a job. And wherever you're going, I'm going to get a job and I'm going to work backstage. Because okay. I'm gonna, when you're on stage, I'm going to go in your dressing room. I'm going to take those daggone boots that you got from Giuseppe, because those are some nice boots. Well, you... well, when they're available, I'll get them for you. But wait, mate, wait, 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 wait. I might have some available for you right now. You lying, Mary. Mary! <laughs> Mary! Can I be one of your backup dancers? <laughs> I know I don't want to ask for a lot. But if I could be one of your backup dancers. Yes, Jerry, but we got to rehearse together, though. Okay, all right. Because we got to we gotta get it right. I will get it all right. Of it. I will get it right. <laughs> can, it, can I be your backup singer, too? Because I can... I... <laughs> if you, do you need to stand I, in? I, I, I'll do it. You can cover for somebody one. Okay. Or you could just join them one night. Okay, I would love to just get on stage. <laughs> Whatever you need me to do, I got to... Mary, I know, I know oh, I'm Shelly. sharing you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having Mary. me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Y'all understand what I'm going through. You do understand what I'm going through. I'm not the only one that's <laughs> out here crazy. Power Book 2 Ghosts, the final season airs Fridays on Stars. And don't miss the series finale. Look at, look at this. Look at that right there. <laughs> don't miss the series finale on October 4th. And for more info on Mary's upcoming My, Friend, My Fans Tour, go to SherryShowTV.com. And up next, it's never too late to learn something new. That's why I can be your backup dancer and your singer, Mary. <laughs> and I am proving that with my first juggling lesson. Keep it right here. Mary J. Fly! <laughs>
This season, I want you all to realize that it is never too late to follow your dreams and learn a new skill. And today, I am kicking it off. Now, I saw the show Absinthe in Las Vegas, and watching those amazing jugglers got me thinking, I bet I could do that. I wish I could do that. So please welcome world-renowned juggler Michael Karras. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> OK, first of all, I know you're not here to teach me how to use those big old knives, OK? This, now, this is all I brought, Sherry. OK, well, <laughs> unless we cutting a rib eye steak, we're not using knives. But like, I, I just want to know, how long have you been juggling? Well, I learned to juggle when I was 11, and so I've been juggling for over 20 years, and I just love it so much. It's, it's not secretive like magic. We're all about sharing and teaching other people, so we want you to be a member of our our juggling community now. Oh, well, I would like to. I would like to. So I want to learn how to juggle. So what would be first? All right. Well, we'll put the knives yeah, away. Please put those knives away. Okay. And uh, we'll start with just one. Okay. All right? We're gonna start with just a real simple figure eight. Can you toss it back and forth just like uh, that, Sherry? Uh, no. But oh, I'm gonna do it. It's okay. Toss it back and forth. Every time you drop a kitten is born. That's the juggler's rule. Okay. Well, call me a cat lady. There you go. You got it. All right. Okay. You're ready for two. Okay. I'm ready, so for two. ready for two. Okay. All right. Now the first move, deep breath. I call okay. it popcorn. Straight up, straight down, both hands. Okay. There you go. Okay, do I you do it, it high or? Okay. Just like a medium amount, not too high, not too low. Okay. Yes, all right, now popcorn. we're gonna try throwing them at the same time, all right? At the same time. Here we go, straight up, straight down. Straight up, straight, okay, all right. All right, all right. Try okay, again. straight up, straight again. down. Look at that, you uh, got straight, it, you got uh, it. Well, I did. <laughs> okay, straight up, straight down. Straight up, straight down. Okay. And now, can we try to cross them? Just one time, so the right one goes to the left and the left one goes to the right. Oh! Okay. Okay. That's not just beginner's luck, okay. that's amazing. All okay. right. And uh, what's last the next but not one? least, can you do a circle for me? A circle. Can we get the circle going? Like that. Okay, okay. All right. Wait, we're ready for three. I want to try three. something. Yes, I want to try something with you right now. Team juggling. Okay. Put your put both uh, bean bags in your right hand. Okay. And then put your left hand behind your back. Okay. We're gonna go Sherry, Michael, Sherry, and try okay. to juggle three. Okay. Here we go. All right. So Sherry, this... Michael, Sherry, Sherry, Michael, Sherry. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, was that one? I think I'm again. Okay, so. Here we go. Sherry, Michael, Sherry, Michael, oh. Sherry. Oh. <laughs> my God. Okay. And I got a wig in my hand. Okay. This. Okay. Well, one more time. Here okay. We go. Okay. Sherry, Michael, Sherry, Michael. Oh, oh. I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, I'm going to keep on practicing because okay. I don't have it. So will you come back to see how I'm doing? I would love okay, to. Okay, because yes. I promise you, I'm going to practice this. Okay. So, Michael, I want to say thank you so much for being a great teacher. And for more info on Michael's juggling, go to SherryShowTV.com. And, Michael, you take us out of break with your amazing juggling. I'm going to get right. out the way of these knives. Fun. Okay. All right, y'all. We'll be right back. <laughs> We'll be right back. Want to get away? Go to SherryShowTV.com and enter the word of the day for your chance to win a real good time getaway. Well, it's time to reveal the lucky audience winner of our real good time getaway. We wanted to give this trip to a person who has done more for others than themselves. Take a look. My mother, Judy Victoria, is the true definition of an unsung hero. For 30 years, she was a teacher's assistant at the Red Balloon Center in New York City, and she helped thousands of students. I remember Judy like a third mother to me. We even called her Mumsy. Miss Judy provided so much love to my niece when she needed it the most. My mother believed in helping others before helping herself. She's somebody I look up to as a mom. Everything that you have done for the family, for the pupils in Red Balloon, you did deserve all of the big hugs that you have received. She really shaped me to be the person I am today. She even babysat for us, and when she did, it felt more like an auntie than a babysitter. The impact that she made on the parents and the students is everlasting. In December of 2019, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and unfortunately had to leave her job. And my mom never got to celebrate her career or get a proper retirement party. On June 30th, 2020, she finally rang that bell that she was cancer free. Now it is time for her community to support her and celebrate her. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We love you. And we couldn't think of a person who deserves this honor more. I think it's time that she puts herself first.
We'll be right back. It's time for one last laugh. Now, today's laugh comes from Keishawn in California. It was her son Eris's first day at preschool, so she practiced smiling with him on his picture day. Look at this happy child. Oh. oh. Well, I guess all that practice was for nothing because here's Eris's school photo. Ooh! <laughs> I bet that photographer was never scared of a toddler until that day. Can you send me a wallet size of that picture? Thanks so much for the laugh. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. It's season three and we're back! Yeah. 